Hello friends, I hope you're all doing great guys. And since all you know that I recently transferred my first hero to the 7 star and now I can tell you, you everything about this hero. Yes, today we will talk about Onir guys. Friends, a big request to you to subscribe to the channel. For you this is a second and for the channel is a huge huge breakthrough guys. And be sure to like this video if you found it yourself interesting. Well, let's start with how to quickly assemble it. When you enter the labyrinth, you knock out soul stones. Be sure to buy Anir plus a random fragment. When you do this by simultaneous pressing Onir plus random shard, you have opportunity to buy a lot of more. Once I bought 30 fragments of Anir in one week. Also be sure to go to the ancient labyrinth two times guys. Do not spare 100 crystal for this top task. This hero cannot be bought for crystals, only with a donation or collect 30 fragments. You will open this hero in this way in just a week of playing. And I will be in your collection. And you can quickly start collection shards to increase the stars for an year. Now a few words about what this hero gives. Uh, Onir's attacks contains an increased holy effect. This effect can hit the multiplayer targets at once, if they are within a short distance of each other. When hitting an enemy, the attack spreads instantly light speed, uh, perpendicular to the original shot, dealing 100 base damage. Onir is perfect for going through chapters with waves. There are always a lot of opponents and splash damage will help you guys. Anir is one of those heroes that is easier to assemble and open up a new horizon for you guys. Uh, perhaps someone does not remember how much it takes for fragments to pump this hero. I will remind you. So one star is 10 shards. Second stars you will need 20 shards. Uh, to get 3 stars, it's 40 fragments. To get 4 stars, you need 80 shards. What about 5th five star? It's 150 shards. And 6th star, it's 250 shards. And the last one is a 7th star. You will need, guys, 400 shards. That's a lot. So, in total, you will need to collect like 950 fragments in order to collect this hero for, for full pumping. Awesome, let's talk about the indicators that he will give you for the level of pumping. So at the level 20 all heroes get 200 health. At the level 40 Onir gains plus 20% ground damage. At level 60 all heroes get a red heart healing effect plus 20%. At uh, level 80 damage Onir gains 6% of attack. And at the level 120, all heroes receive additional damage against ground enemies by 60%, 6%. Sorry. If you look at all these gains, you can say that the bonuses are not very impressive. The most interesting thing opens when you start pumping stars for him. As for whatever Onir should be shown at level 120, I would say no, unless you can do this when you have extra gold and there will be no place to spend it, guys. So friends, if you play for a long time, you will have such a moment, you should not worry about it. The more gold is better to farm on higher chapters. Remember this, please. So, before moving on to his skill, I wanted to tell you that this is a hero that gives you the opportunity to get more soul stones when you open minerals in the mine. Which, uh, with each star, this figure will increase and eventually reach 160%. When I use Onir in the mine, namely when I see that I have 100% level 5 stone, I understand that I will still get a stone and just make myself an opportunity to get the maximum number of soul stones. So enjoy using Onir to get even more soul stones in order to buy a lot of random shards or shards shards of selected characters so guys let's move on uh, what the stars of this hero give the first star will give you the income of the petrol of the scroll weapons which each with each star this income will increase guys 
the second star will give all heroes another 200 health. What about third? Third star will give you increased damage when you hit the target multiplied times. The fourth star will give you plus 10% crit hit when one opponent is left. This is an ideal skill for PvP mode. It helped a lot to play fights and win games. The fifth star gives attack and projectile speed up. This skill only applies to pets. The sixth star gives a powerful haste of the light when an enemy dies. And the best one you got the seventh star. It is protected from damage plus 10%. And all heroes receive this protection. That's when I got the skill from 7 star, I immediately noticed how much easier it became to play PvP. Less damage passes through the and the significantly. Uh, opponents simply cannot uh, penetrate me guys. The win rate immediately raised by 10%, which means that I will receive more crystals per person guys. So great, we have smoothly moved to PvP and you have a question about this mode. Previously, before the fix, Onir was a top in this mode, because I didn't depend on where you shot. The light effects still hit the enemy. Now everything has changed and now the light does not diverge as much as before. I visually played the game to show how much the change Onir in PvP mode friends. Sylvian, who played, uh, played against me, has 5000 attack less uh, and he still looks stronger, guys. Yes, by this I want to say that Anir should not play in PvP mode, at least for now, friends. Perhaps in the next update uh, he will become so strong back that everyone will switch to the game with this particular hero. When Onir was a meta in game, I picked up a lot of crystal guys. And yes, when you see that I have already 40,000 of crystals, it's all thanks to these heroes. Oh well, there were good times, I wish I could return them. Well friends, let's sum up everything. Anir is a really a very strong hero. His attacks contain a light effect that can hit several targets at once, if these targets are nearby. Anir is the first hero that opens up uh, new opportunities for you to overcome a large numbers in attack. Uh, it is the easiest to get fragments of this character, and if you do this, you will receive many nice bonuses. Onir is very well suited to chapters with waves, where there are many opponents. In PvP, it's better not to use this hero for now, but you need to know that once he was stopped, because he can return everything and Anir will still able to punish all in PvP. Unless, of course, you will receive the biggest bonus when you transfer Anir to a 7 star. This is the only hero that will give you damage protection. I would say that this is an excellent support hero for getting nice bonuses, friends. I advise you to concentrate on getting 7 star of this particular hero. Well guys, I really hope for your feedbacks, write in the comments if you have collected this hero for the maximum star, write also who would like to see next analysis, and that's all for today, I'm glad that you will be with me until the end of this video. So it was Archer play with you and it would be better if you did not come across in PvP mode with me, because I will definitely be difficult for you to play with me and I'll take all your crystal guys. So see you soon.